Good morning, afternoon, uh, wherever you are, uh, Budget Guitarist here. It's time for instalment number two of Tone on a Shoestring. Now, what I'm going to try and do with my budget equipment is try to recreate or get as close to as possible as the legendary Stevie Ray Vaughan guitar tone. Now, again, you need to do a little bit of homework and use the Google. Um, so last night I was scrolling through, reading, watching interviews uh, of all the rest, you know, of everyone that's ever seen him live, interviews with Stevie Ray Vaughan, some of the other band members, all the rest of it. And what I can gather is the main thing, now I may be wrong, but the definitely one of the key ingredients to Stevie Ray's sound was volume, lots of it. Now, he would have been using, no, he was using... Um, uh, fender amps, all different kinds of fender amps, all daisy chained, and they were all tube amps at very high volume. So the amp was already um, working really, really hard. Now I don't have the luxury of you know vintage style tube driven fender amps, but I do have the good old faithful Boss Katana, and it certainly is budget because it's the Mark One version of the fifty watt, which are relatively cheap these days. But I got this second hand, it cost me five quid. If you're watching in America, that's like five dollars. Absolute bargain. So, I'm going to add the first ingredient is the volume. Now, the great thing about this amp is it's got a voltage, uh, sorry, a watt attenuator. So, I can run it at 0 0.5 of a watt and really crank it. So, I get all the benefits of a high volume sound but it's only using half a watt. So here we go. I'm on the clean channel and for now everything's set at 12 o'clock with a little bit of reverb. Is it a uh, uh, clean channel using half a watt but the volume's cranked so there's my starting point the next things you need to understand how Stevie Ray had his guitar set up uh, because I'm the budget guitarist I'm using my uh, second hand purchased Squire Affinity Strat um, now Stevie Ray's guitar was tuned down half a step um, I've tuned this guitar down half a step. He also used a really, really thick gauge of guitar string. I've not changed the strings. Uh, these are just 10 gauge uh, strings. And he also, um, off the research I've found, his actions were set really, really high. I've not messed with the action because I lack my action uh, really low. So, plenty of volume, tuned down half step on the guitar. The next ingredient then, so we used a uh, Tube Screamer, uh, an Ibanez Tube Screamer. Now, I do own an Ibanez Tube Screamer, but you're not going to see that one because I'm the budget guitarist. But I did find, oh, this one. So this is a um, Behringer T T or 800. Now, I believe it's a copy or a clone, if you like, of the Boss overdrive pedal but um this is the next ingredient is some sort of uh overdrive uh tube overdrive or something like that now i believe the way stevie used his um tube screamer or overdrive pedal whichever you've got available was he used it as a um a boost because the the, the amp was already you know working hard and he used the Tube Screamer to then start to drive it. So at the moment though, I've just got all these set at the 12 o'clock position and I wanna hear what difference does it make to the loud clean tone, everything at 12 o'clock. So this is a clean, and this is adding the drive. Now that 
that's at infinite to overclock. Now I'm going to try and use this. The Stevie was using his overdrive pedal. He was using it as a boost. So I need to roll off the drive, but put the level at the max. So it looks a little something like this. sounds really really driven now even though this is not a tube amp it's solid state the it's so it's now sounding like a driven tube amp because i am driving the signal using the uh, uh behringer overdrive pedal now now what i need to try and do is is try and make it sound like stevie's guitar So I've just added, added a little bit of tone, so the tone is now at the, what time are we on? So tone is at the 3 o'clock position, the drive is completely off, but the level is maxed out at 10. Um, what I'm going to do is um, start to add drive to try and get that um, overdriven um, Stevie Magic thing happening. <laughs> drive I want to squeeze out of this so it is set at um, just below the 12 o'clock position on the uh, on the pedal um. I'm actually like I'm really liking that that's uh... <laughs> play like Stevie. <laughs> That's probably the key ingredient. Um, I am not Stevie Ray Vaughan. But I'm going to try to play some of his music for you and see just how close it is to his sound. considering the uh, this was really cheap I will leave the link on the uh, on the comments where you can find one of these and I'll I'll try and link the cheapest option for you guys but it wasn't expensive at all
enough of me trying to play like Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, that is my budget entry of how to sound just a little bit like Stevie. Um, cheap overdrive pedal, cheap guitar, cheap amp. amp. It is possible. Thank you very much for watching.